Welcome as we do gather together for worship this day on this baptism of our Lord Sunday. Turn on the mic so everybody can hear God. I wonder if it'll be a song this week. We do can see the ways in which God does call us to, to follow as God leads us out in the midst of our lives of faith. We do pray for all those who are listed in your bulletin. Um, uh, Siggy Allen asked if we would add Chrissy Bot Babcock, a friend of hers, if we could keep her in our prayers. Uh, and also uh, continue to keep uh, Damar Hamlin from the Buffalo Bills uh, in your prayer following uh, the, the event uh, last Sunday. And also very mindful of a number of people, particularly after the holidays, have colds or flu or lots of different things. So I think that's for a number of folks I know of right now uh, who are hopefully watching us from home or resting and recuperating. Is there anyone else that we should be? Yes. As always, I invite those who are joining us online to add any other prayers into the feed and to also let us know that you are worshiping with us this morning. Those who are here present, I invite you to stand as we begin, as we, are, as we do give thanks for the gift of baptism in the midst of our lives. Your voice, O Lord, your voice is powerful and sweet, tender, yet awe-inspiring. Sometimes overwhelming, sometimes unheard. We give you thanks that you spoke the world into being. And that you continue to speak through your people and your creation. We give you thanks for the word made flesh. And pray that the word would be made flesh again in this place. Come into our world again, God, and speak your healing word to those who are broken. <coughs> to those who are grieving. To those who need work. To those who stare. To those whose lives are marred by violence or hate. To those who struggle through blood and flame. Remind them again and again and again. You are my beloved, precious and treasured, and I am with you to the end of the age. Be Lord, Even as we pray this, we want to hear your voice. We want to hear your voice. We want to hear your voice. Where is the voice that twists cedars? The voice that calls prophets. The voice that creates light. The voice that makes the Where is the voice that brings peace? Where is the voice that calls our name and the Lead us again beside your still water, O Lord, and then trouble those waters with your spirit. That we may not find there the living water, refreshing and strength as we see your way. Open our ears and eyes to you, O God, in the most unlikely of places. And promise to stay in Instill small voices. And the loud voice of laughter. In the clink of forks against plates. In the warm spots and fire and smiles. In a drip of water, incessant. Open our ears. We listen. We pray these and all things in the name of Christ, beloved of God, who was born amongst us, that we might know the fullness of God's love for all people. Amen. We join in our opening hymn.
Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God, you send your Son, Jesus, to be baptized by John in the Jordan, so that all might hear the proclamation of your love. Make us voices of proclamation, so that all may not know of your love through our words and our actions. We pray these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And I invite the children forward, or Jimmy forward. I don't know where all your friends are today. Me either, about and where's the Sunday school teacher? I don't know. They didn't let me know either. You gonna come up to Lena? So we're gonna we're gonna come over here. Can you can you put your finger in here? This is some water here. Can you reach it? Can you reach it too, Lena? You want to get the water? I can lift you up if you want. I can wheel you. I don't want to put your fingers in the water that often. There you go. Why did you crack the water? It's not blue. There's a thing underneath it that's blue. What is it? It's just a stamp that's underneath it that holds it up. So if we take, we take a little bit of water, and I'm going to do this. You know what I just made on my forehead? What? I made a cross. Because when you guys were baptized, did you know that I baptized you? Little babies. You were here, and that's one of the things I did is I, you know, I put water on your head three times. I, I, I love me. I know that. You know that? I, I love my, do you re, my you re, sister. You, rem, you remember when your sister was baptized? Yeah. 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 And so I put, then I made a cross on your forehead to remind you of God's love. 
that that's what it does. And so sometimes people will still do that when they come forward is they'll still make a cross on their forehead and to remember that they're loved by God, right? And so that's what we, what we do when we, when we, when you were baptized is to help us know of God's love for us. And where are the Sundays? I don't know where they are today. Probably still Maybe they're the, sick because a lot of people maybe, have been sick. Maybe they're on winter vacation. On winter vacation still? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe they're all being, going places for the... Why don't we come over here and have a seat? The year. Maybe they were doing that. Maybe, maybe, it's yeah. maybe, maybe. I think maybe. I mean, I think Mrs. Von Bargen's been sick too, so I think that's where she is. But all right, so maybe we'll, we'll pray and make sure that people get well, right? Maybe, so we don't get sick. Maybe all of, maybe all, uh, maybe all of my friends have other plans. Maybe or, they have other plans. Or maybe they're having they're going for. They're coming. for. So wait for a holiday to be back. Could be. There's lots. There's lots of different reasons they could not be here, right? Right. So when you're baptized, I put water in your head, and then we gave a candle. Not as big as that one. That's a pretty tall candle, isn't it? But a smaller candle, and that the person who was assisting then said, "Let your light so shine before others." So we're going to sing a song called "This Little Light of Mine." You know that song? Yeah. I was singing. You were? Yeah. Okay, well, we're. Remember, Claire was. She was at. When, when I was getting baptized, she was there. She was? Yeah. So we're going to. But we're going to sing it now, okay? And I think everybody we're in the congregation. We were singing in the band when we were, when we were going to Swift Week together. We, we, Did you sing it with your grandparents or with your parents? Uh, no. Just you and Claire? Okay. And Lily, too. Okay. All right, so let's get our fingers ready for this little light of mine, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and sing it.
I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends of the earth your possession. The word of God, word of life. Thanks. 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 chapter. Glory to you, o Lord. In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the one of whom the prophet Isaiah spoke when he said, The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the ways of the Lord, make his paths straight. Now John wore clothing of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. The people of Jerusalem and all Judea were going out to him, and all Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, Their good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and will gather his wheat into the granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord. Praise and peace to you from God our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The other day, my family was in town over New Year's, and my sister and I had to go down to the city. She had to drop off something for a co-worker. Uh, so we went down to the city, uh, down to Grand Central Station, uh, to do that. It's on the tree before it's taken down, some other things. The thing that always gets me whenever I come out of Grand Central Station is I never really know exactly where I am. No matter that it tells me what street I may be coming out on, I'm not as familiar with the city as other people are, and it takes me a while. Usually I go the wrong direction to begin with. You know, you got a 50-50 chance, and I always take the wrong way. It never fails. So it takes me a while to kind of orient myself to where I am, and even with that, I can't get real far. Like, just point me towards, you know, Times Square and I'll be fine. But it takes a while to just get your bearings. I'm pretty good at reading a map, but I always need to kind of get my bearings to say, you know, not only just what's north and south, but just where I am in relationship to anything else. A friend of mine in seminary used to give me a bad time about not knowing which way was north or which way was south because he's from the Midwest and everything's just, you know, it's just everything's north, south, east, west, nothing else, none of these winding roads like we have here. But it's good to get ourselves oriented. In fact, sometimes with GPS, when my mom and I traveled last summer, I still wanted one of those paper maps, one of those atlases, just so I could get oriented. That while I relied still on GPS, I needed to know where I was in relationship to everything else. GPS really only gives you a few steps at a time forward. And even looking at all the steps, like, I don't know which way it's taking me. It's crazy. We need to orient ourselves. In a lot of ways, that's how we, why we come to worship. That's why we gather in this time of worship, whether online or in person, that we're orienting our weeks to what it is that we're all about. Because there's a lot of different ways we can go day in and day out. 
There's a lot of things that the world says is important or that we get overcome by or that we get distracted by, but we're called to reorient ourselves to God. That's really what John the Baptist is saying, that yes, he's calling us to repentance, and that while it is about for asking for forgiveness for our sins, it's more than that, it's about looking to God. It's about focusing our attention on God. That his cry out to the, to the Sadducees and Pharisees, you brood of vipers, which just to give you a little, tri a little uh, trivia, Jesus also calls them broods of vipers twice more uh, himself in, in Matthew's gospel, but that's Matthew. But he's saying it's not about what you think it is. It's not about fulfilling cleanliness laws or following the laws to, to the letter. It's about what those laws are about. It's about who God is and who God has called us to be, to orient our lives, to focus our lives, to repent, to metanoia, which is that, the Greek word for repentance, which is to turn around, to refocus our lives on God. We are in the season of Epiphany. On Friday was the day of Epiphany, January 6th, where we remember that the wise men followed that star to go find Jesus that they use that to guide them, just like sailors of old would use the stars to guide them where they needed to go, that they followed it to find Jesus. That we follow the star, we follow Jesus to help us in our day-to-day -day lives to know what it means to be a child of God. And that as those heavens opened, as Jesus was baptized, not for his own sake, but that he was anointed by that water, anointed by that spirit to orient his ministry, to say this is what his ministry is all about. And that's what we'll hear time and time again through the season of Epiphany, but through all the scriptures, that while it is, it is not for Jesus' sake that he was baptized, but for our sake, that he was washed in that water, that he was cleansed, not so much cleansed for his sins, but it was being anointed by the love of God to say, this is what it's about. Children are baptized not because they have earned it, but because we want them to be anointed, to be cleansed by the love of God, to have that love of God to be with them in their day-to-day -day lives, to be with us in our day-to-day -day lives. That we may come and make the mark of the cross on our foreheads, I've done that how many times now already this morning? <laughs> Could have a really clean forehead this morning. But um, to, to orient our lives, to remember that we are marked with the cross of Christ. And that it's not just about this water, but it can be any water you use in the midst of a day. That maybe you're feeling particularly overwhelmed or down or going through something and need to make a decision so that maybe you go to the, to the faucet, get a little water, make the cross on your forehead to remember that you are loved by God, that you seek God's guidance, that you seek God's grace as you make decisions, as you live from day to day to be marked by that love. One of the things we've done in the past few years is have star words I always have to pause because I was afraid I'm going to say Star Wars. No, Star Words. So they're different stars, and just as the Magi were guided by the Holy Spirit, guided by that star to find Jesus, that we can be guided to God with a different word. And so this word is regenerate. Just a random word. You may go, I have no idea what that means for my life today, Pastor. Maybe not right this moment but maybe some other time. And I've also sometimes included, often concluded a Spanish word. I need to learn a little Spanish, too. You can look online, Google Translate to get the pronunciation. Uh, and there's also some other words for, like um, some old English words like sponder um, and hygie, 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 um, and some other, other words that are non-English often. But to use those words to guide you in your own life, to meditate on those words, to say, what, did it, what is God wanting to say to me today? What is God's word for me today? And it may be that word, got nothing for me today. But maybe then, a week from now, you go, oh, that's what it has to do. And if you have trouble, you can come to me. And you can pick another word. But sit with those words 
for a while. And for those who are joining us online, we can either get you a word or you, you, um, you let me know and you put a number between one and 165 and I'll give you a word for that. So it's, so it's a random and not me picking a word for a specific word for you. But so you can let me know that. But a word to guide us, to help to orient our lives to who our God is to what it means to be God's beloved, to know what it means to be made in the image of God, to know what it means that Jesus was born in that manger for each one of us so that we can know that we are loved and that we are forgiven and that God is with us always. In the beginning of Matthew's Gospel, it proclaims Jesus as that Emmanuel, God with us. At the end of Matthew's Gospel, as Jesus sends his disciples forth with that call, he says, And lo, I am with you always to the end of the age. That God is with us from that babe in the manger to his baptism to the cross and beyond. We know that we are loved, that we are forgiven, and we are called by John and by God to reorient our lives, to focus our lives on who we are as God's children. As for this that we do proclaim, thanks be to God. Please stand as we sing our next hymn. <laughs> are God's people, we are bold to proclaim our faith as we use the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, 
We challenge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Confident that our Savior, Jesus Christ, hears us when we pray. We lift up the church, the world, and all in need. <clears throat> Jesus, Son of Righteousness, you came preaching a message of love and baptizing with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Set our hearts alight that we might have a passion for your justice. Merciful God, hear our prayer. <coughs> In the waters of baptism, you claim us as your own. Keep us ever mindful of the sacred and life-giving waters on the earth, that we may protect and defend them. Merciful God, hear our prayer. Kindle the hearts of all leaders, that they might work diligently for the good of all whom they lead and serve. Merciful God, hear our prayer. Pour your healing waters upon all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. We pray especially today for Mary, Lisa, Danielle, and all those who are known as Amen, and those who do not know Christ's name. Restore to wholeness all who are in need. Merciful God, hear our prayer. Remind us that there are some in our world who have not yet heard your word of love and forgiveness. Show us how we might reach those little ones so that all may know you. Merciful God, hear our prayer. With all the saints, we celebrate Jesus' baptism and the gifts of his baptism bestows on the world. This week, we ask your blessing upon our shelter guests as we live out your love through the meals prepared warm beds to enfold them. Merciful God, hear our prayer. Your other petitions may be offered silently, aloud, or online in the comments. We pray for your healing presence to rest upon Chrissy and Wingar, and Lisa as she prepares for chemo, for Kathy who faces heart surgery and to enfold the families of Joe and Zeline, that they may know of your comfort and grace. Be also with those who continue to be, to continue to fight various illnesses, be it COVID or cold, flu, and the like. Bring your healing and strength to all. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we do commend these prayers, spoken aloud and whispered in our hearts, trusting in your divine will, revealed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. I invite you to share a word and sign of peace with one of you. And you may be seated for our offering. <laughs>
God, you call upon us to bear good fruit. Accept these gifts as a sign of our commitment to you and the world you have created. In Jesus' name, amen. Against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God claims you as beloved children and invites you to the feast that has no end. Come share in Christ's body and blood with your precious siblings. All is ready. Thanks be to God. I invite you to also take pick up a star on your way up to the community. <laughs>
strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. We give you thanks, O oh God, that in this bread and cup of Christ's very life, you give us food for our journey. As you led the Magi by a star, as you brought the Holy Family home again, you guide us in the way unfolding before us. Wherever we go, may our lives proclaim good news of great joy in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May you be seated for our announcements. I'd ask first if any have any announcements. If you got anything today or either, <laughs> Joanne's not here, so. <laughs> We thank all the people who have supported our shelter this week. We had up to 14 guests this week, um, and they were very grateful for all the food and donations that people have brought in. Our next week is until February 20th, but that seems to come up fast, so if you'd like to volunteer for that, uh, we have openings for it. Great. Thank you, Mary. Other announcements? Uh, following worship, we're taking down the wreaths and the tree, and we want to get the poinsettias a home because they're really lonely during the week, uh, and Kathy has to water them all. <laughs> but so even if you did not order a poinsettia, take one. If you know somebody who would like to enjoy one, because they're still in really nice condition. Um, and so please take as many as you would like. Um, do that. And if you can stay after worship too, with more hands, maybe go a lot faster uh, to take down take down the wreath and everything. Um, Charlie and I are leaving in the wee wee hours of Saturday morning um, to go to Guatemala. So we will be in Guatemala from the 14th to the 21st, really the 20th. We're again doing the wee hours of the 21st. Um, so please do keep us in your prayers as we go. Um, I'll be posting things to Facebook because, yes, there is Wi-Fi. There's not many places that don't have Wi-Fi, but we will have Wi-Fi access. Um, so we'll be letting you know uh, our, about our trip as it goes along and posting pictures and the like. Um, you want to say anything else? You want to say anything, Charlie? Or? Nope. nope. Okay. <laughs> so, so please do keep us in your prayers. On our return, um, we will be offering our Spanish classes once again, either on Friday or Monday mornings at 10 or Tuesday nights at seven o'clock. There's a sign-up sheet in the back. Um, if you can come one week to the Monday and the next to the Tuesday, it's okay. She does the same thing on both things, um, but it's for about 10 weeks again, um, and it's $150 for that time. Uh, so please do uh, sign up so that we know that folks uh, will be attending. Are there any other uh, our, uh, annual meetings coming up at the end of the month? Um, so just mark that on your calendar for whatever the last Sunday is of the month, which I'm not even sure, that's 29th, I believe. Um, so, uh, so just mark that. Huh? The annual meeting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd say no other announcements. I invite you to stand as we conclude our worship together with God's blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be good to you. May the Lord fill you with peace, love, and much laughter. May set you free to celebrate the life that God has given you in all its fullness. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And please do take stars. You can take them for family or others you think might enjoy them as well. Oh, I forgot something. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I forgot something. So we're, as we receive the gift of the Star Wars, there are, um, there's a, a blessing there at the end. I knew I'd forget it. Uh, so let us uh, receive the gift of the Star Wars. God of open horizons and open roads, like the Magi so many years ago. Yes. Step by step, we have wandered into this space. Yes. Step by step, you have claimed us. Yes. Today we have drawn star words. For some, these words are full of meaning and challenge and invitation already. For others, these words are my hands, my hands to our eyes. So as a new year dawns, we pray that just as you have spoken to the generations before us, allow us to use these star words as a tool that might help us hear you more clearly. 
and in a year may we find ourselves here together again. With the masterful of grace for the ways in which you have been present with us. Together we pray with the saints before us. Amen. Now let us join in singing our hymn, verses 1, 2, and 5.
Where is that? 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 Where is that?